uh, I really think, and I will uh, say it again, the thing what you don't expect in viral will go viral. Yeah. But the second thing is what really works with the audience or mm-hmm. at least with travel is something what people have not seen before. Mm-hmm. Like if you, you must have noticed like Monish is a travel blogger mm-hmm. whose condom cafe in Thailand like went really viral. Wow, okay. He got like 138 million, it might be at more and like he was on every this thing. So I've not heard of condom cafe. Yeah. Or uh, Griva, who is like from Biba, she was a great friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, that Vietnam, you've seen that boat, which like goes mm-hmm. like this, like mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. And it's something so cool and funny. Yeah. And, you know, um, I've not seen this and I would really want to go. Unique stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, unique stuff. So something what people have not seen mm-hmm. really goes viral, I feel. Yeah, I like, I mean, yesterday when we were having our event, uh, like even one creator was telling us the same thing, right? Like, I mean, he, it was raining, he was in Mumbai and he took a, a random video, he spoke like, Pani tapak raya aape, and then he got like 6 million views. I was like, what? <laughs> like, bro, that's insane. Like, basic. He just took a, he just took a reel wherever he goes, like so different. The trick is yeah. to not think. Karte raho. Yeah, karte raho. <laughs> and then, but uh, if you see like, uh, uh-huh. A Brinda, like I always, I, I try to talk about women because I'm very like this. Yeah. It's nothing like men don't. <laughs> but uh, Brinda, her every reel uh-huh. consistently mm-hmm. crosses a million views. Wow. Consistently. Is it because of uh, the uh, amount of followers that she has right no, now? No. B- but even like, even if you have so many followers for consistently to get, like even people with more following don't get it. Mm-hmm. What she is that she has made a certain type of mm-hmm. reel which mm-hmm. is loved by everyone. Wow. So now mm-hmm. the trick is the audience exactly knows what to expect from mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to get like an, a r- running Brinda reel mm-hmm. where like she's in the mountains or having coffee or something, <laughs> which I know and like, you know, people have developed that. But yeah, like for viral, like mm-hmm. viral, I would say it's something different, unique, something very fun and easy. And I really think another type of content which really goes viral is relatable funny content yeah. because I am going on to Instagram to actually like escape work exactly. and to just laugh it out yeah. so I really feel like these people like these sort of guard gay and everyone like they create such crazy funny content yeah. like what your bosses say at work and all and yeah. it's, it's just so yeah. like funny and nice I mean that's how it is right like I, even when anybody goes to social media it's just to like uh, get out of the this thing with that thing like not think so much so yeah. whenever you put like take Varun Maya for example his content is doing well because although it's informational by pairing up with these entertaining stuff funny content and everything it's like blowing up because people are yeah, like oh shit it's funny Sharan or, Sharan yeah, yeah like Neha or mm, they are Neha all Nagana. like even if they're distributing finance content they're, they're, it's all funny or like Shreya also yeah yeah and I see like I mean like oh, this thing with a few creators who are also like they were making informational content and now they're like I'm gonna buy a moustache <laughs> I'm gonna buy the fake moustache and start role playing I'm like go for it <laughs> when I, I, I hopefully like when I start talking about my journey yeah. I am going to be like not trying to be humorous but yeah trying to keep it very chill and easy uh-huh. I think that's the trick that'll be great yeah that, that, that'll be I mean people like to consume such content as well right that's why even in a podcast also like I like to add like these funny elements and like not make it very dry and like boring and like yeah, all these next things time have alcohol yeah. and then make people drunk never yeah. have I ever <laughs> 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 exactly brew your market brew your own beer or you will have like a keg or you or something yeah we'll get a brand to sponsor yeah, yeah. amazing okay yeah. please sponsor me <laughs> so okay so since you mentioned about being financially independent that's something that you're looking at so how can creators monetize and become financially independent like what are the different uh, avenues to do that especially in your space like what have you been doing like Number one is initially you don't own anything. It's like any business, yeah, of any startup you don't own. And if you're going with the purpose that, okay, I want to earn, that's great. But like mm-hmm. we ensure that you have given yourself at least two years where in the worst come situation, you'll not grow and you'll not own. Like always uh-huh. think of the worst Yeah. or if a platform doesn't work. So number one is, of course, like you've got brand partnerships, which happen. Um, but that doesn't sustain you to like take your trips and everything like mm-hmm. unless you're like really big yeah. because you know traveling is very expensive yeah. um, number two I really think is diversifying 
like mm-hmm. example i like before joining linkedin i used to like really take workshops and like okay. you know uh take courses where mm-hmm. i would like talk about reels talk about my expertise like whatever i'm telling you is actually paid oh wow okay i'm, I'm flattered <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah so you know uh-huh. uh like uh, talk about all of that so yeah. i think that really helps and third is like having your own uh, brand like merchandise like tanya has started her merchandise uh-huh. or um you know like thrifting your clothes mm-hmm. you know just thinking of like businesses which you can do because let's be honest today you're relevant tomorrow mm-hmm. you're not going to be relevant yeah. like maybe the next generation doesn't relate to you yeah so you have very little time to make it work like though there are some exceptions yeah. but i'm just being like i know i know yeah makes sense so merchandise courses diversifying uh, the yeah. uh, avenues and yeah i mean like it takes time of course it takes a lot of time right yeah, yeah. so how how long did it take for you like i mean when did you make your first buck <laughs> via very content late. i would say that's very late it would be approximately um after i cross 100k would be like when it really like started mm-hmm. uh like properly otherwise earlier it used to be like one of things not very consistent uh-huh. is what i'm saying uh-huh. right now so there is like this this lot of inconsistency sometimes you get sometimes you don't get but uh, yeah before that it was like very very one off acha 100k though yeah okay <laughs> perfect <laughs>